Um, hello everybody, I'm in Oxford at uh, my old college, uh, Christ Church. There's the cathedral and uh, right there you have Corpus Christi and then over here uh, you have uh, Merton College and back there that tower over there is uh, Modlin College Tower and I'm here with my good friend uh, Mireya who's uh, at uh, Trinity College in Cambridge. She's a physicist but works on health policy and we spent uh, the last few days here in Oxford uh, discussing emerging technologies as part of a, of a workshop that we run here called Workshop on the Future of Government. And some of the sessions we had were about the future of healthcare, uh, which is something that Mireya works on. Uh, so my first question to you uh, is, you know, what are the developments and the changes that you find in the healthcare space and in the bio space that you find most exciting mm -hmm. and also most challenging moving yes. forward? Yes, well, this is a, a very large topic, of course, so we could be here for hours, but if we were to identify three main avenues, at least from my point of view, Mm -hmm. I would say we're dealing with treatment optimization. So we want to uh, have treatments that are specific to the patient and based on evidence. And here mm -hmm. we're including, in my opinion, from um, decision systems to help the doctor to make the right decision given all the information that he or she has about the patient. Mm -hmm. uh, but also anything that deals with early diagnosis so that we can catch the disease early mm -hmm. enough such that the options are still uh, many and diverse. And you did some work on this, right? On big data and diagnostics in the US before. So there's a lot of, there's an enormous space of change in there Absolutely. with AI and a few other tools, no? Absolutely, and it, it's it's only growing, really. Uh, then we have the field of um, improving the therapies themselves. And mm. here we're talking about um, the development of new devices, of course, that goes from implants to assistive devices, etc., mm. to the development of new specific targeted drugs, for example, for cancer that mm. are um, targeted to a particular, for example, subtype of cancer. Mm. And then we have what I call the community healthcare um, area where uh, what we're dealing with is monitoring both healthy people and also patients to make sure that we catch the early signs of anything that might be worrying or mm. that we can follow up a, a patient that has mm. already been treated in an easy way. What about now, the other bunch of things, the CRISPR, the gene editing, the organ printing, tissue printing? I mean, all of these treatments that uh, they're more on the treatment side of things, but there seem to be there seems to be an enormous pipeline of changes that is going to have a huge impact on the quality of healthcare. even, I mean, eventually sort of life expectancy. There are all these issues of the death of death. I mean, all of these predictions about us being able to live over a hundred years and all of these things. So there seems to be a lot of change coming down the pipeline in terms of treatment as well, right? Absolutely. And uh, I would say that there are a lot of very exciting tools that are being developed. Mm. So they're not treatments in themselves, but they will probably enable um, mm. in due course new treatments that might completely revolutionize the way that we uh, do these things. Mm. Um, and in terms of the challenges, um, well, healthcare is a very special field, of course, because we need to make sure that when we deploy something, we mm. really trust it. And so in that sense, the pace of healthcare is, is slower because we need to go through clinical trials right, um, and right. slowly build up. We can't just, you know... Um, so it's not like politics. Act. It's not like politics <laughs> where we just launch <laughs> a crazy idea <laughs> and we elect crazy people yeah. to office. So we're just over three minutes and I'm told people are extremely lazy. You guys are very lazy. So <laughs> after three minutes, everybody drops off. Uh, so this is an enormous uh, topic and it has enormous governance implications. Equity, who accesses this, uh, you know, these treatments, who has access to them. There's justice issues, there are ethical issues uh, the, uh, that are related to some of these treatments. So enormous topic, but thank you for finding the time uh, to pleasure. do this. And bye bye from uh, the uh, Master's Garden at Christ Church. I leave you with Christ Church Cathedral right back there, which is the Cathedral of Oxford. And uh, we've had a great time. Thank you for connecting and I'll talk to you uh, later on probably from Singapore uh, in a few days where I'm going to be attending a couple of meetings on governance. Bye-bye.